Hey everyone, um, so today for Fitted to Fish at Tampa Fishing Outfitters, we're going to be talking cast nets. Probably one of the most important tools um, a West Central angler can have. If you want to get some live bait in the well, you're going to need to get this skill dialed in. So what we're going to talk about are all the different options in the humpback lineup. So in the humpback series, there's three options. It starts at a shallow water series, which is 1.3 pounds per foot. Um, then we're moving into 1.6 pounds per foot. That's just our standard um, weight option. And then new uh, this year is the deep sea series, which is two pounds per foot. Um, so when you're trying to figure out which of these weights is gonna be right for you, uh, obviously in shallow water, so we're talking flats, you know, I'd say less than seven, eight feet of water. The 1.3 is probably gonna be ideal. Um, generally in that scenario, you're dealing with a lot of grass on the flats. Um, the bait, you know, the net doesn't need to sink rapidly. Um, so save your back, go with 1.3 pounds per foot. That's going to be our slowest sink rate out of the three. Um, moving to the next weight class is the 1.6 pounds per foot. Um, that's offered in every option in the lineup, any mesh size. That's really our most popular. It's going to be versatile for Tampa Bay uh, and surrounding areas. It'll perform in deep water, um, out of the Skyway Bridge, out of the markers. Uh, but it's not going to be so heavy that you can't take it inshore and catch that bait in the flats. You're going to get a little more grass. You're going to get a little more mess in the boat, uh, but it'll still get it done. So if you're going to carry one net, that weight class is probably going to be ideal for you because it'll be well-versed in, in any scenario. Then the big boy, then the 2.0, the deep sea. And the deep sea net is going to be ideal for those that are working with heavy current, uh, at least 15 feet of water or more um, on up to 20, 25. So we're talking about uh, out in the channels, out around markers, at the Skyway Bridge or any of the bridges, that weight is gonna help it get down without changing the direction of the net. So when you're thinking about that net sinking down in current, that 2.0 is gonna make it down in the straightest line. Any of these lighter weights is gonna get carried away uh, by, the, by that current. So the deep sea is a tough net to throw. You know, you, you've gotta be ready for it. I'd only recommend that if you have a lot of experience with the net or you're pretty dialed in. For instance, a, a 10 foot net uh, with that 2.0 deep sea class is gonna be at 20 pounds, 12 footer at 24 pounds. So uh, it, it can take its toll on you, but it's gonna get bait in just about any condition you can throw at it for Tampa Bay. So once you've kind of decided on your weight and how, how much weight you need per foot, the next thing you need to figure out is the mesh size, okay? And this is probably the number one question we get when folks come in the store and wanna talk about nets and wanna get into catching their own bait on a daily basis. Um, in the humpback lineup, you've got four options here, starting with a quarter inch mesh, moving up to a three eighths, a half inch mesh, and then all the way up to a five eighths mesh. Um, now, one thing to bear in mind when you're looking at this is there's also gonna be a stretch value. That's generally about twice the size of whatever it is. So a quarter inch is gonna give you a half inch stretch. So that's when the net is fully open and you're putting the pressure on it. How big are those holes or how, how big is that mesh gonna open up to, okay? Um, but really when we're talking about nets, we're just going to use that standard, that standard size. So quarter inch mesh, um, going to be best for smaller bait. So when bait, bait is just bloomed and it's, and it's going to be small and you don't want the bait to do what we call gill. And that's when it's trying to escape the net that it's able to bury its head all the way up to the gills through and punch into one of these holes. The bait's going to be no good to you. It's going to get stuck in there. Uh, if you get it out, it's probably not going to last very long. So you've got to make sure you're picking out the right size. So quarter inch mesh, the smallest is for me, uh, that's what I feel like is the best choice on the flats at all times. All right. Um, there's times of the year where a three eighths is going to be fine and bait's not going to get gilled, but the quarter inch is going to give you anytime baits on the flats, you're not worried about sink rate, go with the quarter inch. Or if the bait's really small, uh, this last year we had, um, we had a two month period at the Skyway where it was just very small way to throw a quarter inch or you're dealing with Spanish sardines that get mix, mixed in with the bait, quarter inch is gonna keep you from getting real messy um, and keep your bait nice and healthy, all right? The downside of it, it's gonna slow your sink rate down. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna take this net out to deeper water, it is gonna impact sink rate and slow it down a little bit, all right? Three eighths mesh, uh, probably the most common mesh size that you're gonna find on uh, any captain's boat or anybody who's seriously out there getting bait every day. That tends to be one of the more versatile sizes. I'd usually say three eighths if you're only gonna carry one net is gonna be ideal for you. Um, it's gonna get a good sink rate. It's gonna be small enough where most baits that you actually wanna use and put in your live well aren't gonna get gilled up in this net. Um, so this one is probably the one that we most commonly recommend to folks 
out there, uh, especially if part of what you wanna do with this cast net is use it in deeper water, 3 8 is gonna be the go-to, okay? So this is an all year round Tampa Bay net, okay? Uh, half inch mesh. Now we're half inch and 5 eighths, you know, you can kind of group together. These are gonna be specific to somebody who's looking to target bigger baits or get the fastest sink rate possible. So come tarpon season when the big thread fins roll in or you're trying to catch big pogies maybe on the East Coast and you're worried about sink rate, uh, these are gonna be ideal for you. They have bigger mesh holes, um, gonna get that net down faster uh, and get on top of those baits in that deeper water. The downside of this though, is if you're gonna target your pilchard, skilled sardine white bait, smaller thread fins, smaller pinfish, um, you have a high propensity to gill the baits inside these size meshes. Um, so that's one thing you'll need to keep in mind. Um, for me, you know, I carry a half inch mesh uh, net on the boat and I really only use that targeting the big thread fins that come in, you know, this time of year, May, June, July, August, September, really coinciding with tarpon season because those, those fish can move around fast and I wanna get that net right on them. And the ones I'm looking for are, are huge baits. So I'm not gonna beat them up. Or I'm not gonna gill them with that size mesh. All right. Uh, and same goes, same goes with five eights. You can get away with that one too. But for your greenbacks and stuff, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna lose a lot of bait getting stuck in the net here. Now we're talking about the length of the net, all right? And the length of the net is really gonna be driven by how well you can throw one of these nets. Um, I would say that most of the, the guides and captains out here are gonna be using a 10 foot net or bigger, um, uh, especially when we get in the deeper water. Um, a, 10 and 12, a 10, 11 or 12 foot net out there in the deeper water is gonna have enough diameter that when it hits the water and needs to sink down 15, 20 feet, it's gonna stay open enough to get you a, a, a good chunk of bait out of it. Um, going down to like a seven, eight foot net and trying to take that out and into the deeper water, you're gonna lose a lot of that diameter as the net starts to sink, those, those leads wanna come together. So even a fully open eight foot net, by the time it gets down to 15 to 20 feet, you know, we're talking about an open uh, diameter of maybe four or five feet. So, so just keep that in mind. So when we're talking about the deeper water, 10 foot is usually that starting point we want to get somebody in at um and and while it can be tougher to throw come in the shot we can show you how to do that that's not a problem uh we, we can get you going um for the flats you know you can pretty much pick and choose uh we have a lot of folks that use an eight foot net on the flat seven eight foot um that's going to give you enough keep in mind when we're in two three four five feet of water we're not looking for that net to go down a big distance it's not going to lose any diameter sinking in shallow water uh, so most folks tend to go to that smaller diameter to save on their back uh, get less fatigue generally you're going to throw the net a few more times in the shallow water so don't be afraid to jump down to an eight foot net and make it easier on yourself when it comes to these nets there's a lot of options our entire staff here at tampa fishing outfitters can walk you through this at any time um, even go outside with you figure out how to throw a net assess your skill level of throwing the net to see which of these is going to be right for you to make sure you can get some bait in the live well. So just want to thank you guys for tuning in to Fitted to Fish uh, with Tampa Fish and Outfitters. I'll encourage you to check out our YouTube channel, Fitted to Fish. There's going to be lots of tip videos that are going to be relevant for our area. So subscribe, check it out.